Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. Today, we have a quick little video. Uh, a friend of mine from work is getting married and he asked me to potentially cut down a tree and, uh, and bring him some like inch and a half slabs, 16 inches in diameter approximately. I think they're looking to make some centerpieces for the tables. So uh, we're gonna just go out and have a look around and see what we have for trees that have potentially already fallen down in a couple of our recent windstorms. And if I can't find anything appropriate, we're gonna find a tree, we're gonna cut it down, we're gonna get this guy some slabs. So uh, if this is what you're here for, stick around, let's do it. <music> This is how wet we are on the forest road. We are just coming out of a little bit of rain. This is probably the uh, the nicest part of the corduroy road so far. It cleaned up really well. The uh, the low spots in the land really loaned themselves nicely to uh, getting some logs tucked down in there. Once I uh, backfill with a little bit of soil and get some geotextile material on top. I think we'll really be onto something back here, but it is a huge job. It takes years for two people to get this done. I think I gotta put the camera away for a couple of minutes and pick my way back there. We'll see you in a minute. How cool is it back here? Hear the birds? We've had so much wildlife on this property. I, I believe there was a black bear on the front lawn. Um, I put up a community post about that on YouTube. If you follow the channel, you may have seen that. Um, turkey, deer, grouse, you know, coyotes, uh, maybe the odd fox, my neighbor's dogs. But uh, it's a really cool property back here. Really looking forward to getting this road done so I can get back here and uh, maybe get up to some trouble. I wonder if we can get something out of that. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be rotten because it's been falling down for too long, but there's only one way to find out. Um, let's see. I know there's more over that way that, uh, that have fallen down more recently than this one, but let's give this one a shot. I need to know if this size of round is gonna work for you. Give me a call, would ya? And I will change the spelling of wood to W-O-O-D. <laughs> See what I did there? Let's go uh, look at another tree that I know has fallen down and take a couple of slices out of that and see what they look like. Now, I wonder what we can do with this one. It was definitely taken out by bugs and woodpeckers might be rotten but it might not be it hasn't been down too long and you know the main body of the tree is well up off the ground so let's have a look
perfect. So he just got back to me and he says these are just fine. So uh, I think he said he wanted 16, so I cut 20. Uh, my only piece of advice to him as a newly married man is uh, if she asks for 16, make sure you cut 20 because I guarantee you she's going to find something wrong with four of them. <laughs> All right, now I got to get these back to the trailer. a further away tree good lord good idea Adam I'm gonna get married James can cut me some centerpieces oh. I don't dare try to carry those ten at a time across that water so we'll just get everything to here and we'll take it across in smaller numbers I've learned these lessons I feel like as a young person as a younger person just gonna take it easy chainsaw seems to be performing a lot better than it was before I did that maintenance. Nice big hunks of sawdust instead of just like what would come off of sandpaper and it's cutting so fast. Big improvement. So we'll get the saw carried back to the John Deere, carry those rounds across the water and uh, see where we are at that point. I need a drink of water. Let's uh, let's pull these back up to the house. I guess that's gonna do it for this video, guys. We uh, went to the back 40 with my MS261C chainsaw, found a tree that had already fallen down, and uh, picked up some slabs that my buddy's gonna use for centerpieces at his wedding. Something different anyway, right? Why not? Thanks for tuning in, and thank you to those of you that subscribed on my last video. It's been viewed almost a thousand times uh, in just over 24 hours, which is pretty fantastic for my channel. And, uh, you know, I picked up about a dozen new subscribers. So welcome to you guys as well. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one.